What has two thumbs and has no idea what he's doing? This. Coffee and tea and the Java and me. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. So I figured today I would share the journey I've been on over the last couple months creating my website and the videos. Well, I started out, I had a website already, but it was uh, for, really for my dissertation project and it was really long essays and pretty dry. And Anyone? Anyone seen this before? The laugher curve. And it wouldn't have worked with what I really want to do, which is more of an interactive thing. So while trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my stuff, I just put it out to everybody that I knew. And lo and behold, a buddy of mine was working with this brilliant web design team. And uh, after some begging and pleading and small bribe, I convinced them to work with me. So my first lesson of the journey was don't be afraid to talk up your vision. Put it out there and the law of attraction will start to create your next step. So now I find myself working with somebody who actually has a clue about this whole internet optimization exposure thing. And he flat out told me it is all about videos and having a YouTube presence. Well, up to that point, my YouTube experience or exposure has been a handful of car repair videos, some crappy bootleg of a Smith's concert in Spain, and for some unexplained reason, chocolate rain. A baby born will die before this in chocolate rain. So I said, okay, I'll find a camera and a tripod off of Craigslist and set it up. And I already have the content from the site and I'll just uh, sit down and summarize and maybe talk about some finer points of uh, my stuff. If I remember correctly, his response was something in the way of... Stupid! You're so stupid! So that brings us to lesson two of the journey. Be open to constructive criticism and course correction. So three days later, I'm attempting to understand why they would make the font so damn small in a prosumer camera manual. I'm also trying to figure out video editing software, and I learned I could be criminally prosecuted for using one of my favorite songs as background music. Which leads me to lesson three. Embrace new learning and don't yell at the equipment. So what you see so far in front of you over the last video in this one here is a product of all that bumbling, stumbling, and falling down and getting up and trying to figure out what the hell I want to do. Which leads to the overall morals of the story. Work, 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 moral of the story is... All the planning in the world will not get rid of the crap that you're going to have to face when you put your plan into action. And if I can battle, bump into the furniture, get up, keep moving forward, my friend, you have absolutely no excuse. Lastly, I wanna give huge respect to those YouTubers out there that make this look so effortless and do an amazing job at sharing their gift. Jenna, Justine, Shane Dawson, Ray William Johnson, oh, Mystery Guitar Man, just to name a few. So don't forget, I post videos every Thursday and there's also javabud.com and the blog. So thanks for meeting me here today. Thanks again for the coffee and we'll see you soon.